Hello YouTubers, uh, Tross here, and this is Distance. It's, uh, well, it's a survival racing game according to the developers, and it is currently in beta for Kickstarter backers. I was one of the backers of this game. Uh, this game is a spiritual successor of a game called Nitronic Rush. Basically, uh, a few of the developers while in school uh, made the game Nitronic Rush, and now they are working on a spiritual successor with uh, some other people they brought into the team. And um, it's an interesting game. It's it's a racing game, but at least uh, for single player, a lot of it is uh, surviving and just getting through the track. Uh, it's not the typical racing game because your car has powers. You can uh, jump and even fly and there's the normal boost and your boost meter gets uh, refilled at checkpoints um, but the the visuals <laughs> the visuals of the game are also interesting it's, it's kind of uh, Tron like uh, but they do a lot of interesting things like all of your UI is on the back window of the car uh, so it's very out of your way uh, your boost meter is basically kind of like you know, these brake lights that kind of fill up and if they uh, reach uh, the end you'll explode. Uh, it's basically it has a uh, overheat kind of system so the more you use boost the more you heat up and that's kind of the, the brake light meter kind of shows that. Uh, there's a few uh, modes. There's an adventure mode which is sort of a story. Nitronic Rush basically had a story so this is something like that. It's not complete yet, um, but it gives a good intro to the game, so I'll do a few levels of that. Then there's arcade mode, uh, which just takes you through different levels uh, that get harder and harder. It comes with a level editor, and then you can post the levels to Steam Workshop. I am playing the Steam version on Windows, as you can see. Um, there also is a multiplayer mode, but I don't believe I have access to that yet. Or maybe that's under arcade. Oh, it is under arcade. So you can do local split screen or uh, online. I've really only played this uh, just a little bit. We can go into options here. Uh, the music is really great, so uh, I'll try to leave that loud enough to hear. Uh, I'm right now using a gamepad. Uh, you can see there's some basic controls, uh, there's flight controls, you can pop out wings and fly around, then you can use uh, some camera and menu, all this is configurable. Uh, you can also obviously play with the keyboard, uh, graphics settings, uh, I'm going to turn stylized outlines on, I don't think that's a default. Um, but I did see another video with them on, and it looked pretty interesting. Uh, uh, you can create profiles or view the credits. So I'm going to do a few levels of adventure, and then we'll do some arcade and uh, wrap it up. Yes, the content of adventure is incomplete. But uh, he's a good introduction.
So that was the little intro. Um, now we're on to the first introductory level. The car kind of warps in. So you just accelerate. And I may be using some things before they tell me, but uh, I'll try to hold A to boost and you see the uh, brake lights kind of fill up. And then going through a checkpoint like that, uh, instantly uh, cools you down, resets. There are uh, multiple paths on most of the tracks, and especially later when you can fly, that uh, opens up a lot of interesting things you can do and go. Although, flying is generally slower than uh, driving through the track. Music kick in, uh, doing a wall ride. It's none of these tricks also cool you off. So that was a uh, wall ride. When you finish it, it automatically uh, resets your heat. And we got some obstacles here to avoid. There'll be more of them in upcoming tracks, but that's uh, it for this first track. There'll be multiple cars uh, when the game is fully out. Uh, right now, there's only one. I'm not sure if they'll just look different or if they'll actually have different characteristics. Uh, I haven't played multiplayer yet, but uh, supposedly uh, your place will be shown on your back window. So all the UI you need is right in your car. So it's basically right where you're looking, or very close to it. Alright, now we can jump with X to avoid these little gaps or tiny walls. And later on we'll be able to change that into flying. Most of the tracks are set up so you can boost. Uh, most of the way, or nearly all the way, uh, which is nice. The uh, checkpoints, please, so you cool off just as you're about to overheat. Uh, although, the harder tracks, you'll have to do tricks in order to make it. There's usually uh, basically pre planned areas for you to do tricks. And walls in the way. And that's the next level. Um, personally, it's a bit hard to believe, but this is a Unity Engine game. The developers did quite a lot. I've ever seen. It's got really nice graphics, uh, decent draw distance. You can actually uh, change that, and this is running nicely on my machine, which is actually uh, two years old at this point, so you don't need the best graphics card ever to will play this. Yeah, I just barely made it through some of those uh, saws. Nice blinking 
lights the music. So, some nice music and visual interaction here. Sorry if I'm not talking that much, but I'm just trying to <laughs> play the game and uh, enjoy the music. Alright, here we go. I'm going to hit one of these. And my car got cut. So the lasers will actually cut your car until you get to uh, a regeneration checkpoint. And... Yeah, you can get sliced in nearly any direction as long as you have uh, a wheel or two. <laughs> you'll keep going, although you'll be going slower. I'll probably just do another track or two until the climb is introduced. And that was a warp. We got these. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh! Totally chopped up my car there. Press X in air. There we go. Now we're flying. So going through these rings reduces some of your heat while you're flying. Tracks have shortcuts. I have. I use a little bit of a advanced. Well, let's say advanced technique. Uh, with the control scheme I'm using, holding down the left bumper will let you rotate. And that's what happens when you make a mistake. You can put me. So I'll probably have this as the last track. At least for the adventure mode, last track. What's going on? Oh. <laughs> <Right now. laughs> Did not mean to do that. Yeah, 
so uh, I believe they're just gonna have leaderboards. Uh, adventure mode has leaderboard. Uh, not adventure. Mode. <laughs> Arcade mode has leaderboards, I believe. Local and then online ones as well. I uh, believe right up here they show you your last ten. already mentioned is uh, being able to cross and rotate your ship your ship car <laughs> it's almost like a spaceship though I think I will stop this here. There, there's more to... I believe there's more to this. But, uh... Go back to the main menu. And, uh, just do a little bit of arcade. Uh, we'll do solo. There's different modes. Uh, sprint is just survive the track. You get to the end, there's one that uh, you get style points that count in addition to speed. There's challenges, which are basically no checkpoints and have to get through uh, the track all in one go. And then there's stunts that uh, only doing tricks to get points counts. I'm just going to do sprint. Um, Let's, um, let's do a track I haven't done yet. Uh, now there's already uh, over 60 user-made tracks on the Steam Workshop from the level editor. And uh, I haven't used the level editor, but supposedly it's easy to use. You just basically drag out uh, kind of a path for the track. I could have flown up there. And uh, the game kind of places buildings, I think, semi automatically, but then you can customize them. Oh! That was a tight squeeze. Alright. Let's try something else. better either. <laughs> well, it wasn't fast, but I made it through. Cut. 
you see uh, there's uh, medals in the arcade mode and uh, my results, local leaderboard, I can open up a global, not that great, 500th and 28th, <laughs> um, but uh, let's go do one more level and then uh, I'll call it a video. So definitely I enjoy this, it's really fun. Um, they're apparently still working on the multiplayer, but it's playable. And it looks pretty good right now, I believe. I've seen one video of other people playing it. And uh, you do see the other players with their names. Racing along the track with you. Ooh, big wall climb here. Yeah, uh, first time I played, I wasn't really getting those rotations to the, the track 90 degrees uh, worked out too well, but uh, I'm uh, picking out pretty good now, I think. So it just takes a little practice. Get the wall there. Lost the track. This is it. Oh. Alright, back on the track. Ah, I blew up just as uh, got to the end. Oh, look at that. Oh. You can jump and just go through here. I didn't even realize that. Yeah, so that's... um. That's distance. Um, if you like what you see, you can uh, uh, pre-order it at uh, survivethedistance.com. And uh, let's just look quickly. Level editor here. Buildings, decorations, lights, obstacles, roads. Wow. How do you use this? Editor tutorials. Well, hey there. This. Uh, you probably can't see what's going on, but it opened up the Steam overlay to a, a video showing how to uh, make a level. Um, oh wow, there's lots of different things you can do here. Um, I probably won't go it into this now, but uh, yeah, definitely if you like what you see, uh, check it out. Uh, survive the distance. It is as I, uh, it will be on Steam uh, right now. 
Uh, the beta version is only for uh, Kickstarter backers, but when they feel it's ready, they'll open it up to the public, and uh, hopefully that won't be too long. And uh, everyone will be able to play it, and uh, hopefully not before too long, it will be on Steam proper, and everyone uh, will be able to play. So if you like what you see, definitely check it out, and uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.